On the outside, life seemed great for 12-year-old Brittany Georgia. She was a middle school student with a loving family. Academically and socially, she excelled. But Brittany was not happy. She was suffering in silence. When I went through depression, I didn't tell anybody. I actually had a notepad on my phone and it was talking about my plans of ending my life. And I had a letter to every single person in my family and every single person that has touched my life in some sort of way. Um, saying my goodbyes and I had my funeral planned out and what I'd wanted and I had everything arranged. I found a specific note that was titled Dreams. As I continued to read on, it was the description of what she wanted for a funeral and how she was leaving. And it was letters. And I remember reading the one that started off with Dear Mom. And she said, I want you to know that you could not have done anything to prevent this and that you were the greatest mom in the world to me. And I, sorry, I started to cry because I realized that this wasn't a dream. Brittany's parents were thankful they found the cell phone note when they did and knew they needed to act to save their daughter's life. But they admit, at the time, they did not know what to do. I was treading in unchartered waters. I didn't know how to get her to open up more about it, and I was so scared at that moment that I didn't want to say the wrong thing. I think there's such a stigma and stereotype to mental illness as a whole, especially depression, that it's such a taboo topic that nobody talks about it. And so we didn't know who to turn to other than each other and um, call the doctor and you know call our counselor. And luckily we had a family counselor that we could bring her to. The worst feeling was being told, oh, how can you be sad? Like, there's no way, like you have a good life and everything. And it's, yeah, I have a good life, but am I feeling okay? No, I'm sad and I need help. It's, it's not something that we can control. And I think a lot of people do sweep it under the rug because they do have those stereotypes behind it. And it's very hard to hear those because it's a feeling, it's an emotion, and it can happen to anybody. Brittany received the help she needed, and now, three years later, all facets of her life are good. In fact, really good. She recently was crowned Miss Wisconsin Junior Teen United States and has been educating fellow teenagers through her platform entitled Fighting for Myself and Others, Spreading Awareness of Teen Depression. It's one of the most amazing feelings to know that you're helping other people before yourself. And, you know, sometimes it's hard. There's positives and negatives to having a big heart, but there's, another, there's not another feeling, in, like better feeling in the world than to know that you're helping other people before yourself. What she's doing is peer support. Not only is it somewhat therapeutic for her to be able to tell her story and what she's been through, but it lets other people know that they're not alone. There's other people that are suffering in silence sometimes with the same types of feelings that she was feeling. Brittany has bravely used her status as Miss Wisconsin Junior Teen to shed light on the symptoms of depression and treatment options as she travels across the state. She is also very open about her personal story in her own school in Ashwaubenon, where she is always prepared to listen and help. Everybody at school knows that this is what I do. This is my job. And I make it very clear to everybody that this is, if you need somebody, I'm here. Um, a lot of teens don't have that at, in high school, not even in middle school. So as soon as we can you know, put that resource out that you do have somebody and I'm the one, then the more help we can get. Um, NAMI, which is National Alliance on Mental Illness Organization, is a big part of my life. They have teen support groups and adult support groups and adolescent and peer support groups and school support groups and millions and millions of support groups that you can get help with and they're all just to basically tell you the same thing and you're not alone, you've, you've never been alone.